um, gentlemen were saying? Yes, well, as you might have heard, Mr. Lomax, uh, uh, Larry and I, Larry and I have been reprogramming the accounts on the new computer system. Yeah, right. Oh, thanks. And, uh, what is Sir, it, it's a very big job, actually. It's a big, big job. We've been working hard. It's a very big job. In and, fact, uh, I've been out for quite some time now. Weekends also, I Weekends, guess. late. And well, why don't you show it? Well, thank you, Larry. Uh, well, we've come up with something that we feel you, you should have know about. There? Yes. Pa page 28 and 41. 41. 41. Sure, these figures are accurate. Yes. Positive. Yes, sir, Mr. Lomax. Mr. Lomax. <sighs> Bernie. Hmm? Call me Bernie. I thought you were still in prison. Kind mm, of got me out. Helped me publish my first book on collectibles. Got me a lawyer to uh, help me at my parole hearing. Help me get this. Really? Yeah. Yeah, my father. Father. Had this whole attic full of antiques, heirlooms. Great stuff. I love those things. Chairs, brake fronts, the smell, the touch, the feel of... The prison county got me a... books on antiques, lots of them. I just devoured them. I loved it. And he said to the outside that the other people that would share my... Your passion. Passion, 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 passion. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just a matter of, you know, how to contact them. So now you, you run this store. Yeah. No, I mean, not, not alone. You guys are the guys at accountants, you know, to help me out. But it's my store. It's my store. My stuff. My stuff. Now, do you know anything about an insurance policy? National Life of Vermont. The policy was taken out a couple of years ago. That was the first thing I had them do. It was a double policy. It was uh, you know, a wedding gift. If someone loses a loved one, they should be compensated. Rita, that's some compensation. Are you insinuating something? Michael and, uh, you know, Janice had their problems. I mean, who doesn't? No, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm sure you're right. Would you do me a favor and ID this photograph for me? of a time flow ripple. <laughs> Mr. Wills, what is it you're after exactly? Oh, quite, quite. Didn't I say? Fuel. What kind of fuel? Pure 24 carat gold. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Uh, That's the best you could do? Uh, Miss Lane. So, did you expect that we would just give you all our jewelry or maybe get Superman to dig you a mine? Do I have sucker stamped on my forehead or maybe you think I'm the dumbest person on the planet? Or, I'm really H.G. Wells? <laughs> you know, Charlie, I've, I've, oh, I've never seen a bike like this, huh? Well, you never will, Lester. Listen, this is, uh, this is a one of a kind. This is the Moonbeam Special. Moonbeam? Where'd you get a name like uh, that, What's huh? What's wrong with a name like that? Oh, well, it's as good as any, isn't it? Listen, I'm building an old man's barn back in... Moonbeam, Oklahoma. This is uh, Indian trans, uh, trans, uh, 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 gearbox. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, what, what kind of, uh, 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 carburetor is that? It's a, uh, well, one of a kind. <laughs> I don't know, Charlie. It looks like you've, uh, stolen every part known to man, huh? <laughs> Something ain't. Something ain't. Look, lift the rear end here. Huh? Now, 
That's high tensile steel. <laughs> Quite strong yeah. and light. This uh, primary cover here is aluminum. Back here, cam cover is aluminum. We've got uh, down metal piston. Double overhead cam. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Charlie, go on, I know, I can see. You, with a, uh, a machine like this, we could... We could go all the way, Lester. Sure could. Go all the way! Listen, kid. Let me tell you a little story, all right? Five, six years ago, I was, uh working this game, pounding a couple of kings. All of a sudden, this mouth breather sitting next to me slams his hand down on the deck, says, wait a minute, I want to count the cars. I says, counts 50. I get crazy right back at him, grab the cards out of his hand, but not me, count them. What do you think I came up with? 52. Wrong. Because I'd have been a dead man. You always have to make sure you got a way to get out the back door, kid. I counted 50 cards. Now the next sucker who counts the cards, he's the one that comes up with 52, and he's the one that ends up getting his knee shot off. You get it? Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> Hell of a way to make a living, huh? Woo-wee! Hey, look at here! <laughs> I've seen whorehouses with less color than this. <laughs> Isn't this incredible now? I mean, here I am, alive in 2194, <laughs> standing in my great, 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 great grandson's apartment. You know what? I think I better pinch somebody just to make sure that I'm not dreaming. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. That is him. The peasant girl must be here. You're in big trouble, pal. And I, I, oh, pal! Search this house. Check out the back. Nobody escaped. Me? I will look that up for the stairs. Hey, no, you can't go up there. Don't ever, ever touch a count, okay? When I want to go up the stairs, I go up the stairs. But I feel like going up the stairs now. <laughs> <laughs>